Miranda Paul here, science lover, picture book author, non-Asian and anti-racist. Sharing a book with you today called Queen of Physics, How Wu Qian Xiang Helped Unlock the Secrets of the Atom. This book is really special because of course it celebrates science, which I love, but specifically physics, so things like neutrino and beta decay, the nerd in me saw this book and just went, what, gotta have it. The things that she did were very Nobel Prize worthy and might not have been recognized in her time, but we're gonna recognize them now. So I'm gonna share with you some snippets from this book, Queen of Physics. Queen of Physics, How Wu Qianxiang Helped Unlock the Secrets of the Atom, written by Teresa Robeson. Illustrated by Rebecca Huang. In China, in the small town of Liu He, the Wu family celebrated the birth of a child. The child was a girl. A girl! What would become of her? In those days, girls were not sent to school, not considered as smart as boys, and certainly not encouraged to be scientists. But Mama and Baba Wu did not feel that way. They believed girls should go to school and could become anything they wanted to be. They knew their daughter would be smart and brave, that she would make a difference in the world. Baba named her Qian Xiong, which means courageous hero. Soon enough, Qian Xiong had learned everything she could from her parents' school. She knew how to count and to add, subtract, multiply, divide. She knew how to read and write. Hundreds of Chinese words with their strong dots, angled lines, and wispy tails. Qian Xiang was ready for more. The new school offered two programs, teacher training and academic. Qian Xiang picked the free teacher training program, but she peeked into the academic program textbooks and saw that they covered so much more. Science wasn't just science. It was biology and chemistry and physics all connected by the lovely language of mathematics. And oh, physics! Physics, the study of the very matter and energy around her. The study of things that could be seen or felt, heat, sound, light, electricity, and motion, and of things too minuscule to be seen or felt, atoms, and even tinier parts of atoms. Physics captured her heart. During the day, Qian Xiang attended her own classes. At night, she studied the academic textbook she borrowed from friends. She called it self-learning. It was a habit she would keep up for the rest of her life. She focused on beta decay, where a nucleon inside an atom broke into an opposite nucleon, an electron or positron, and a neutrino. It was like opening one present and getting three different gifts inside. Scientist Enrico Fermi said electrons should have had faster speeds when they burst out of the neutron during beta decay, but he couldn't prove it. Nobody could. But Qian Xiang could. Because she understood beta decay so well, she knew what to look for. Because she was such a careful researcher, she was able to run a different experiment that proved Fermi right. Many people thought Qian Xiang should have won the Nobel Prize for this work but she did not receive it. Sometimes, Qian Xiang did not get the job she wanted either because she was a woman, because she was Asian. Was she sad? Yes. Was she disappointed? Often. Was she discouraged? Occasionally. But she did not let those feelings stop her from doing what she loved because Baba always said, ignore the obstacles. Just put your head down and keep walking forward. And that is how a small girl from a faraway village in China, went to school, proved herself as smart as any boy, learned to be a scientist, and even became a queen, the queen of physics. 